The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. It feels like Life. Oh, It's better, it's better with you My life oh, It's better, it's better with you This is true oh, It's better, it's better with two My life oh, It's better with you Hello everybody and welcome Welcome to my brother, my brother, and me. It's an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. What's up, Trav Nation? I'm Travis McElroy, and we've got a challenge this week. That's right. Oh. We're spending the next 1,000 hours trapped in this box. Oh, shit. How many buttons are in the box, Trav Nation? There's over 10 million buttons in this box. And when I press one, will my mom and dad pour rubber worms on me? That'll happen, and if you press the wrong one, someone on Earth will die. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Max Fun Drive Wait, I didn't even say my name, did I? No, go ahead. I'm Griffin McElroy, and I'm playing the flute to get your rats and kids to run away because it's time to pay the piper. Yes, Max me. Fun Drive means it's time to dig into your... Now, Travis, I it, something occurred to me when yeah. you were talking about... <laughs> yeah, what? What's that, Justin? What is it that you need? This is the first Max Fun Drive uh -huh. where our failure... Or success. Uh -huh. Oh my it's not, gosh. It's not a simple question of, it's not my fa Like before last year when yeah. we didn't do as much when we as didn't, we were quite when hoping we didn't for. Overdo, right? We didn't overdo, right? We did great. Then we didn't do right. super great. Right. Like that was all of us failing. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. But this like, time. I feel like if we don't hit our Max Fund Drive goals this year, yeah. then it is a reflection on Trap Nation vis oh, boy. being a failed state. <laughs> oh, yeah. boy. Not only yeah. that, we can look at certain heuristics and be like, Travis, Trav Nation up in the Pacific Northwest, that whole region, it's yeah. underperforming. You need to drop a uh, drop a fortress in there. You need I to. Might, so this will be the first will... year that we can check the Trav Nation GDP. This is what you're <laughs> yes. telling me. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, GDP means good darn podcasts, and that's what we've tried to bring you all year long. And now we ask you to please support that uh, content with, by joining the Max Fund Network. Uh, what you could do for just five bucks a month. Now, if you do it for five bucks a month, there's a bajillion hours of bonus content over a, a there's a lot. I counted yeah. it up last year and it actually took me too long to count it. That's how yeah. much there is. It's wild. For my brother, my brother and me, me and Justin and Griffin designs a one shot RPG based off of Plato's Rave. We did a Plato's Rave one shot uh, yes. designed it. For Taz this year, the three of us DM at the same time for our one dad who then goes through Plato's Rave, the RPG experience. It's Y'all next I'm level. Not, not it's kidding. Very good. Not kidding. I think it's the best podcast we've ever. Made. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think the two as a two parter, yeah. it is our it is our 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 black album. It is it, it is a is But a, we've also got I mean Pranky Doodle Dandy is in there. Yeah. If you're not a, a member already, you don't even know what the fuck that means. You gotta get down on Pranky Doodle Dandy. Uh, all, the shows, by the way. all max fun shows You're all max getting, fun like, shows uh, all all have this uh, for, from all the years and that's for five bucks a month and and listen i'll just mention this because i i don't at 10 bucks a month you're gonna get all that stuff and a pin and the pins this year these enamel pins they're back pins are back and they are choice adorable yeah so cute i love all of our pins this year you've got to check them out but more than that you'll be proving to the haters that the trawler is strong that's a travis whoa a trawler. the trawler we gotta <laughs> prove that the trawler is strong um a lot of people out of here are saying that it's completely worthless that it's just like printed out on paper and you can only spend it at travis stores for travis merch and that's right, right. simply not true it's yeah. just that it does take a lot of trawlers to equal one dollar um, yeah. <laughs> and if we could bump that up a little bit, I think yeah. that would really help 
with some of our infrastructure problems. Sure. If I'm yeah. Being I'm, honest. You know, I, boys, I was talking to Terry last night, Terry Gross. <laughs> yeah. And uh, just sort of talking <laughs> I about hate some, it when sort you of call like, her that, by the way. It's a really mean nickname. Yeah. T- well, I was talking to Terry, <laughs> and Terry was like, yeah, it's important when you're doing a pledge drive to make the people who might support you sound like uh, machines or royal <laughs> subjects. Feeder um, bars. Terry said anyway. that. So we're in the clear yeah. so far with this um, particular drive break. It, the 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 main thing is the your your pledge is not just buying a gift. That's that's a, a, a little thank you. The the money goes to help make these shows possible. Uh these are how we feed our family and clothe our kids and pay protect our, ourselves from our enemies. Uh, yeah. Shore up our borders, <laughs> um, right? Everybody always talks about how cool our moat is, and yeah. moats don't pour themselves. They do not. The Trav Army isn't going to shoe itself. <laughs> no. I need you to help me buy shoes for the Trav Army. This is this. The, we're the low gangs do. coming for me, guys. I don't know how to tell you guys this. We're, I've been, I've seen some storms on the horizon. We've yeah. gotten some messenger birds. I'm terrified. <laughs> okay. yeah. we, were, we were able to do this important work because of your support. Uh, and it really does mean the world to us. And if you can go to MaximumFun.org forward slash join and uh, join up at, at 5, 10, whatever feels comfortable. There are higher levels. And we'll talk about those later. But um, if you could do that right now while you're thinking about it, then you can you hear these pledge drive breaks. You just space out. You yeah. know what I mean, or feel yeah. superior, even even more so. You can also upgrade if you're already a Max Fund member and you're like, oh, I want to go from five to ten this year and show even yeah. more support. You can do that as well. It all counts. Um, or if you're driving in your car, you can roll the windows down, and turn the volume way up, and drive real slow by pe- by bystanders on the street. Yeah, um, that that's also super duper helpful. That helps share the message, and we've got some bonus goals ourselves that we'll tell you about later. But right now, enough of the shilling. Time for the for killing. The killing. <laughs> killing. Is like killing it. Like uh, the both of you got killing? there so fast, so effortlessly. Yeah. Uh, this is an advice show still, uh, and we are going to continue to help people, whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, hopefully you do like it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I've recently started going to a new gym, one with classes, so everyone comes and leaves at the same time. It's CrossFit, but not CrossFit. A class system, that's terrible. There are a lot of supportive high fives during the workout to and from each other. We love this. Whenever I'm leaving class, I usually lift my hand to wave goodbye to everybody. Every time, without fail, someone thinks I'm going for a high five, and I am in this awkward situation where I'm denying one a high five for the good of the group in my goodbye. How do I make my waves less high fiveable? <sighs> this that, is the level. Just in case you're wondering, this is the level we can help with. Yeah, yeah, I this is this. so this perfect is for us. Right? Yeah, this is exactly where we can assist. Um, yeah, this is from waving waving by in Wisconsin. Sent this one in. I don't now, know why Justin doesn't read the name sometimes. I something. Oh, because he was just so inspired. He was, sorry, did you just flip Griffin off? <laughs> Sorry, was there? It's hey, listen. If I slip one of you two a cold one, a cold one mid show, yeah, that's not for them. That's right. It's See, this you. is a that's bonus. probably not going to get the video clip <laughs> edit of on the support TikTok. Of, of our Max Fun supporters, we've been able to do a lot more video content, which means yeah. now I get to see because <laughs> Justin has to do on camera when he flips one of us off. Yeah, it's he makes for you. Not yeah. everything is for them. It's especially I need you to know and not them to know. It's an undertone to the flavor of the energy of the recording of the podcast, yeah. and now it's, we all get to be a part of it because of the support you've shown in the Max Fun. Thank drive. you for letting me know when my brother flips off my other brother. You, I've been thinking about Lost a lot lately. It's not important yeah. why, but you could do a Charlie move and just write on your hand like "not a high five. <laughs> That's and then you cool. Hold it up, people oh, know that would be that would be moving. I mean, it, it, <laughs> now they're all thinking of Lost and just crying <laughs> in the CrossFit. You know, I. Will say it's got to be a tattoo because otherwise you're gonna sweat that sweat that yeah. right off, and that yeah. is gonna be get your splats and you splat it right off. Your splat, splat it, it right and off. You splat right off your body. Oh I, man, I splat it in my ding dang palm. There is a moment at the end of the gym I go to at the end of the classes where they're like, and now if you want fist bump your neighbor, it's very like if the spirit of Christ yeah, is yeah, moving yeah. you, come on down Ooh. to the pulpit. But like everybody always fist bumps. I have started and bump to it write with you. And and pump it with you also. Uh, I've started drying my knuckles off when the timer hits like fifty nine minutes and thirty seconds. Oh, like if I see that hit, I'm like, here it goes. I don't want to give someone a wet fist. Um, Do you and- remember back? There was a time I can't remember the setup for it, but in our days of being church going youths, 
where yeah. I think you just turned and shook hands with everybody around you. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. common at pretty much every pretty church. church. I remember yeah. reaching a certain age, though, where it became so strangely ironic. Like, I think I was just shaking hands with, like, Justin and Griffin. Like, yeah, guys, yeah. <laughs> good job being here. We're doing yeah. it, man. It was yeah, set- we were really set up to fail in that one part of church. The yeah. rest of church we were great at. <laughs> Everything else of church. church. There's it's a couple our highest dip- endorsement. You could do a couple different, maybe, like, a, a tip of the ca- do two-finger salute. Like, well, well, someone, an overeager beaver might see that and be like, uh oh, uh, ramping up to a high five. He's got two fingers up there. Let's get those other three piggies wiggling and let's get a five going. Is there a Disney Point version of a high five or like a wave, Justin? Uh, just holding yeah, up two fingers, like scouts on two it. fingers, like, 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 used to like one of your like, competitors in the Hunger Games just died. <laughs> 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 um, the, maybe you could get a call and response going like that is your classic exit. So your classic exit doesn't need to be a wave because it's like, hey, yeah. everybody, great job today. Zoot suit riot. <laughs> and then they're like, <laughs> riot. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah, for that's sure. your good. That's, that's how so you do fucking goodbyes. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. God, if I could pull that off. Hey, you know how for a long time kids were doing the. <laughs> Kids are doing the, can I get a, you know, that, that. No, I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. I do. Justin, I do, because we're here. Thank you, Travis. Okay. Anyway, is a thing that is actually. I don't think it's high, yeah. Though, I don't think that was it. It's, yes. But it's like, it's like very annoying, right? It's this very annoying noise, but it is this bizarre call and response that you saw the Gen Z kids doing for a little bit. And you can still squeeze one out where someone just says, can I get a high, yeah. In public, and then everybody responds. It's nostalgic. Who's, who's it's in on it? Awesome. So this is what I'm saying. Zoot suit, right? I think we need a Gen X, Gen Z, ver- a Gen X version, which is I'm you're so- in public and you hear someone call Zoot Suit Riot. Anybody within earshot has to call back Riot. That yeah, would, I think that would be. That'd be uh, cool. A lot of fun. You know, I'm like wicked not in the Generation X. I know, but like, there's a lot of stuff for you. You know, yeah, that's not everything point. needs to be for you. That's true. Renting, renting is for you. Yeah, that's us. We but, basically, we practically invented. Tell me some other things, Griffin, as a Gen Xer that you feel <laughs> ownership of. Oh man, Starbucks. Yeah, are fucking, bird scooters yours? Yes, grunge music uh, is <laughs> huge How often for us. Do they do new generations? Why? Uh, just about every generation, gener- I would say. Our, no, like, our, how often do they do? We were all born within seven years of each other. Do you? How, do you, what? What? What generation would you say I am? I think you're borderline millennial Gen X. I think Travis and I are pretty squarely millennial. You think Travis is millennial? Yeah, baby. I mean, He's borderline Gen X. I think I'm okay. Gen Z, frankly. I you, mean, I don't okay, speak on that. I knew I'd get uh, you. <laughs> I'm just saying that, like, the year <laughs> I was I knew born. I'd get you. Welcome. <laughs> right fucking, into a snare. Like, I, you Winnie the Pooh right into that pot, baby. <laughs> I knew you'd come around. If you're just with... talking about the year I was born, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's talk about the year in which I live. <laughs> it's a yeah. feeling. Do, do, you, do, 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 do you guys know what our children's generation is? Gen Alpha. Henry, did yeah, they- Henry Laird is, oh. he's an alpha, and he will not let that go. Just march around the house. Excuse me. I'm Generation Alpha. Uh, I'm terrified you- of the day that my eldest learns that, because she yeah. also, after she learned her astrological sign, now often refers to herself as a scorpion. She oh, doesn't cool. care about that part. Like, I'm the alpha just, scorpion. Uh, the alpha scorpion. When that happens, I've lost all control. You can't raise the alpha, the alpha scorpion. scorpion. Are you kidding me? Yeah. How am we, I coming back from that? We couldn't together in a my three dads scenario at the raise height of one our alpha hours, scorpion. Yeah. Raise an alpha scorpion. Um. Hey, do you all want to go to the wizard's house more than with anything? Me? Okay. I um, gotta get up. back to Kansas. Take off your shoes. Whoa. That's yep. just, that's not. The wizard's into. Toast? I mean, it's, yeah, the wizard's really into toast stuff. Brian sent this <laughs> in. Thank you, Brian. It's uh, how to stop a wedding. We've huh. all seen the movies where a person halts a wedding in progress in order to get back the one they truly love. In reality, stopping a wedding is a much more serious undertaking. It involves no, a lot. Wait, of- hold on. Slow down, Wiggy Hell. You're telling me that in real life, Stopping a wedding is way more serious than when I see someone like Owen Wilson do it on the big screen. 
Yeah, it's slightly yeah. more serious. It involves a lot of thought and planning and taking an honest look at your motives and intentions. If you truly believe the couple shouldn't be together and you believe you're justified in doing so, we have some suggestions for going about stopping a wedding with logic and legal action. Don't. God spoke to me. God spoke to me in a dream. It is my responsibility, and I think that I'm justified in doing so, to stop this union. Uh, so, step one, approaching the couple. Consider your motivations. Hmm. You're in love with one of them. You don't need it. There's more here, but like you're in love yeah. with one of them. You're in love with one of you're them. You're in love with you both may, of them. You may be in love with both of them. <laughs> yeah. But you or are. Or neither of them. There's so yeah. many options. Or half of each of them. <laughs> yeah. A third <laughs> party, both. not related, but affected by the wedding. I'm in yes. love with their left bottom corner. And the, <laughs> uh, I'm in love with the officiant. And this seems a good time to kind of push <laughs> them out of the way. Step in yes. there. Just hijack their wedding. Talk um, with family members or other people involved in the wedding to find out if someone else feels similarly. You gotta get ooh, trying to take this alliances. on solo is no yeah, good. Yeah, you have to build. You have to build a a confederacy. <laughs> a confederacy <laughs> is what you have to build a a a conspiracy against against the wedding. Yes. How do you broach that subject without knowing the answer already? Like, hey, <laughs> yeah, um, it's into this. Hey, um. Wouldn't it be wild if someone had a good reason to stop the wedding? I'm not <laughs> me. No, 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 no. No, I know I wrote all those it's, poems and songs and stuff. But wouldn't it? Like, what do you think about the even, wedding? Even, <laughs> even for WikiHow, this is unfathomable. Like you, the, uh, these are mostly going to be strangers to you. Yeah. So you are yes. literally like uh, tap tap tap. So uh, Aunt Doris was it? Um, <laughs> do you think that this? It's gonna go down or what? Hey, Where are you at? Todd's your you nephew. Have... Any dirt on him? Yeah. <laughs> which one do you? Or which team are you on? <laughs> have you chosen a side mm. yet? Mm. Uh, usually, you just find the one who's outside smoking a cigarette. No one really smokes anymore, and so if you mm. see someone outside a wedding smoking a cigarette. They are basically asking someone to come and conspire to stop this wedding. Oh, man, them. but can Ooh. you imagine if you go out there and you're looking for, like, a future father-in-law or some kind of powerful ally, and you get up there and it's like, oh, it's like a step second uncle or something like, oh, man. Uh, yeah, you need blood ties to Yeah, I don't know how much influence he's going to have on this yeah. scenario. Uh, yeah, somebody with juice. Yeah, yes. so You need, like, the groom's mom. Like that's the power you need. Yes. That's the kind of power you need to channel. But like two ushers, unless it's usher. If usher no is there, if usher is there. Yeah, yes. Uh, although, although you get two. And let's say this: you get two ushers. The amount of Joker-like chaos you can now weave into this wedding by having them ush, like, come on, Grandma, this way, back row, wrong side. Come on, ah. Grandma, this this way, Grandma, into this bathroom. Click lock. <laughs> we can't start the wedding. Because the two ushers have kidnapped Grandma. No. Yeah. Oh, no. It should Eat work, though. The um, meet with the bride Eat and groom. The rings. Eat the rings. Eat the rings. Eat the rings. <laughs> yeah. But if you're not. You just eat the rings. How do you get the rings? How do you do any of this, Trav? I'm, okay. not a, I'm an ideas <laughs> guy. I see. Eat the grandma. You're, you're a logistics guy. Griffin's the EXO. I'm the ideas guy. Okay. Justin's the body man. Um, I'm the face. When someone has to do a flip to stop the wedding, Justin's going to be there for us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he won't do the, the flip, but he'll say, somebody do a flip. Someone, please. <laughs> someone. Um, remember, when that, remember when that guy, when we were all in Philadelphia, yeah. and it was nighttime, and I, we were walking around, and that guy walked up to us out of nowhere. This man walked up to us and said, I do something the whole family can enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Backflips. Um, and and he was us right. children were like, yeah. Hell yeah. And he yeah. did it. Yeah. And it was really yeah. good. Yeah. It was, it was really, sick. really cool. Life cool. is beautiful. It Meet was the, beautiful. It was a beautiful it happens, it happens in the in-between. It's true. When you true. think about it, it's not about the it destination happens. or the journey. It's about the pit stops. It happens in the upside down. Yeah. Meet with the bride and groom privately to talk. Go directly to the couple to be and calmly discuss why you believe their wedding should be stopped. I'm going to actually veto WikiHow on this one for yeah. this reason. For this reason, if they know uh -huh. that someone is conspiring, yeah. then they're going to start counter conspiring to take oh. you down before. And, and I'll tell you, in the wedding, like 
venue in the wedding sphere, yeah. bride and groom are two of the most powerful and influential <laughs> yeah. figures. If, yeah. if one of them flat out refuses, it's gonna be difficult for it to proceed. Now, it's gonna get it, nastier if yeah, it proceeds. Yeah, you can, yeah, that's true. You might be able to do a little bit like, hey, mom said that if you said it was cool, like go to the bride and groom separately oh, cool. and be like, hey, she seems not super enthused about that. What about that? Yeah. Um, I think this is suggesting you do these things well before the wedding. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Address your concerns one on one. Is the best to- hope there that you go to one of them and they're like, okay, thank you. Somebody yeah. said it. I, I didn't know what to do about now this. Now listen, if you do it, if you do it, if you talk one of them out of getting married, you break the other one's heart, that's not gonna feel good. Mm. No. But I'll say, risk reward, if you convince both of them independently. Well, then you've done your good deed, right? Uh, this yeah. Is not, this was not meant to be. You are a blessing in this situation because if that subtle, subtle manipulation can bring all the whole it car- house of cards down. For sure. Okay. What's it going to be? This is what here? you need. You're in love. Let's say you're in love with participant one, right? Yeah. Okay. You need to find somebody who's in love with participant two. Yes. Mm. Now you're not breaking up a marriage. You're multiplying a marriage. Mid summers night. It was going to be one marriage. Now it's now two. Now it's two. You've blessed the marriage. <laughs> more money. Well done. More, <laughs> more money for the wedding industry. More wedding. <laughs> more money for the more wedding. More gifts. People. More guests. <laughs> Everybody cir- wins. I got to circle back to. Step two is meet with the bride privately and groom privately to talk. Step three is address your concerns one on one. So in this scene goes, hi, hey, what did you need, Jeremy? Yeah, tell us all about it. <laughs> well, I think you guys should not get married. Oh no, Jeremy, we're gonna get married. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get married. Okay, I need to talk to just you. You can not about you, that. Not about that. It's about something else. Not about that. Not it about that. Not about that. Not about that. It's about it's 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 doing two spoilers, and you haven't seen it yet. So why don't you go wait in the hallway, and then afterwards, you guys switch places, and I just do him. But it's well, different. Or, or you come out after the the participant one, and they say, "Okay, is it my turn?" To, no, no, no. That won't be necessary. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> I think I think I've got it handled pretty good, actually. They You're answered fine. my question. <laughs> I'm got, done. They, uh, yeah, I'm done. Uh, step four, convince the couple to wait a year. You know, the weather. <laughs> if someone to come, if someone to in come to this us, economy, if someone to come to us in our winter wedding that was supposed to be quite warm, according to the farmer's useless shitty almanac, <laughs> uh, You're was supposed to be a beautiful, great, the good point, Travis, and instead ended up being about nine degrees. And uh, our Only grandma on that f- one day too. Day yeah. before 73, day after Gorgeous. 73, day of nine. Day of cold, cold, cold. In Texas. Uh, if someone said, wait a year, it'll be about, it'll be like 71 next year. Probably still wouldn't have done it because it's been pretty kick-ass to be married. And I can't even pretend like I would do that. But this might work for you. Suggest a fake wedding. That now, won't work for you. How? How does that sales pitch go well something like this discuss holding a wedding celebration but without the minister and paperwork no one else has to know it's not legally binding and everyone can still enjoy themselves this may satisfy a couple looking forward to the event and festivity but avoid any trouble later with divorce lawyers if it doesn't end well what cool the f- okay what the, the ultimate fuck have you the done? ultimate a- prenup so the ultimate i would argue but i think i can make a strong case that this is actually a harder sales pitch than just canceling the wedding. Um, yeah, I would also say, man, if you uh, if you have a big ceremony and about how you're going to be together forever, and then all your friends and family are there and they see you do that, um, in my book, that's pretty married. I mean, that's extreme. yeah. That's I don't know point. what you're trying to prevent. That is not that exact situation. Is it just a legal issue? <laughs> like, I kind of thought you were in love with one You of them. also then are having to begin the sales pitch to these two participants with, hey, let's face it. You guys are probably going to get divorced, right? Well, have I got a life hack for you? Yeah, yeah. Get divorced. <laughs> 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 I also like the do it without a minister and paperwork. I mean, yeah, but someone's going to have to get up there, my man. Someone is yeah. going to have to get up there and be like, oh, by the power vested in me by the United States of America, these guys are going for it. Yahoo! <laughs> Yosemite Sam? 
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, taking other action. One, call out the lies. Thank Whoa. you. If you know the wedding is a fraud or there are legal we- reasons, the wedding could not go through legal as planned. Weasel. Legal, legal weasels. Legal reasons. The wedding should not go through as planned. You have at least 28 days to take legal action. Couples must let a registrar know of their decision to get married, and the registrar is required to make that information public for at least 28 days. What's what? this going to do? What's this going to do? <laughs> The image is someone at county court and talking to someone behind a desk who looks like really entertained by this sales pitch. What could they possibly be saying? Now hey, listen. she's n- actually in love with me. So well, that's now we are assuming, we are assuming that the motives here are love, but there's also a possibility of like, you're it a, is though. We confirmed that earlier. But on you're a detective, right? And oh, you know that cool. this person is like an international jewel thief, smuggler, scam artist oh, who's posing God. to marry this dowager and steal all her jewels. Yeah. Now, oh, what's that, boys? Your tone has shifted. They're a hero Bucket for breaking shit. up this mm. wedding. Well, I mean, I'm not here to bust someone's grift wide open <laughs> like fair. what are you talking about if they're running a clean grift is it's it, a if clean it's grift. a clean grift if they're it's trying a, to scoot off with boomer jewels like go with god my man if it's a clean grift for boomer jewels and the bodies ain't piling i say yeah, go okay. for it yeah. if you're not stacking corpses and you're clean swindling those boomer things jewels, are insured a clean swindle. <laughs> boomer jewels are insured. Boomer At the banks insure insured. the boomer jewels. Swindle away. Swindle, swindle your away. hearts out. Just don't pile up bodies. No bodies no piling up. That's how you get the loss. <laughs> yeah, around. you know, Ooh, then, the, then the McElroy brothers have to intervene. Yep. Follow the money. If the couple are relying on both or one of their parents to support the wedding, you may want to try to stop the money source so the wedding will be called off. If you have legal reasons, again, share this with the parents and let them know how they may be financially supporting a harmful situation. If there aren't legal reasons, you can still voice other concerns and attempt to stop the money flow. How is it fucking possible? Like, these steps are getting so much harder. Yeah. You have now, you have now gone from, like, talk to them, try to talk them out of it, to, like... Sun Tzu art of war yeah. levels of like they have three distinct sources of of support. We cut the columns out from underneath them. Hey, uh, so you're uh, Deborah's poppy. Listen, he's an international thief known as the crayfish, and uh, yeah. you're gonna need to get in there and put a stop to this. There will be some danger, but don't worry, the bodies haven't started piling up. But That's a clean one. I need you to so help far. me take down the crayfish. I've been hunting him for years. Now you could also go to Poppy. And say, Papi, you follow crypto? Oh, and then okay. Poppy's like, what are you talking about? And you're like, you know how you've got like 15K and you're going to do that for the wedding? No, no, no. Wait, Griff. Now, when they say, what are you talking about? You have to say, ah, uh, never, never mind. Never mind. It's, 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 you, uh, it's yes. if it, if, if it, no, 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 no. I'll be Poppy. I'll be Poppy. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, okay, okay. no, 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 no. It's like future money stuff. Don't worry. Like, don't oh, even... oh, yeah, no, you say crypto. I mean, I don't know. Sorry, can you be more clear with your? Yeah, how old, now, is, how old now, is Poppy? Now I, now I remember. Yeah, I saw that in Time Magazine. You know computers? Hell, yeah, well, I've dabbled. They're doing money now. So, oh, you're kidding? Hey, know, I do hey, do my sorry banking. To Let Poppy finish chewing, and then you can have this conversation. With <laughs> yes, her. I do my banking <laughs> online. Yes. Oh, you do? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> This is different than that. I I want to show you a very cool picture of a car, and it has a gorilla in it. And yeah, I, I enjoy. If you this give picture. me fifty, if you give me all the wedding money, I'll put it in this gorilla, and then <laughs> it'll be worth twice so as much. Ridiculous! I've already sunk seventeen boomer jewels into this thing, and those are non-refundable. Um, you don't have those insured with the government. No, no, is that what crypto is for? If Now, hold on. Wait a second. Did you just say all 17 boomer jewels? Because if someone gets all 17 boomer jewels, <laughs> they get the power. That'd be unstoppable. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no. Dr. Robotnik got all the boomer jewels. <laughs> <laughs> and the rings are missing. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, waiting it out. Void the marriage after the wedding. You can use an annulment to legally cancel out the marriage. Wait, you, never can. you can. I don't can't. think. I don't think there's a third this, party annulment. Yeah, this article is written in second person, and it, you have to remember that it can't. You can't just throw a you out there like that. It's great. I think 
this would be a funny prank if you're like, how's your, uh, how you guys like it being married? <laughs> I annulled you. Um, <laughs> I guess what you get to do it again. Because I uh, annulled it. Wait for the marriage to fail down the road. If the okay. couple's fairly young and it's their first marriage, there's a 40% chance the marriage will end in divorce. That's not quite, by the way, Wiggy, how, how to stop a wedding. Well, it will no. stop. No, they failed. Yeah, I mean, that's a fair point. This is a consolation prize at best. 40%, I think those numbers are getting better. So whatever we all are doing to keep our wedding, our marriages strong. I think and... fewer people are getting married. <laughs> That's what is, is, hey, what is happening. Hey. That would be my guess. Whatever it, hey, whatever it takes to make that all important number yeah. get, lo- get lower. Z- I, want, we... I, I would love 0%. I think we all think that that would be the ideal circumstances. Okay. Well, Only cool people it. get married to other cool people in happy, cool weddings. But, I, somewhere there's a divorce lo- divorce <laughs> divorce <laughs> lawyer saying, "Hey, but wait, <laughs> hey, mean, sorry, but what do I do now? I have all these books. Sorry, you craven vulture. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying. No, to sorry, the picking at the bones of society. No, no, no. I just help people. Navigate. I haven't been hunting the vulture, Griffin. That's all a I different is- jewel thief. I've You're been right. hunting the crayfish. The crayfish. That's a different one. Sorry. Um, uh, and then step three is move on. That should have been step one, WikiHow. Oh, look, you already, yeah, you skip right to it. Just stop, cut it out. Um, hey. Yeah. Can we talk about the Max Fun Drive? Yeah, yeah man. Really, yeah, I think we should, man. Can I Can I talk about some uh, additional rewards we have planned when we hit certain levels? Oh, um, I would love to hear ooh, some yeah, of those, Travis. At 3,000 new and upgrading Max Fun members, Fungalore will hear your wishes live. Wow. We legally can't say that they'll all come true. No, that's not what Funglore is about. But Funglore will hear your wishes live. What does that mean? When we hit 3,000, you will find out. Fungalore will hear your wishes live. Yeah. Yeah. Fungalore Fungalore. will hear your wishes. Fungalore will hear your wishes, your wishes live. Now, does that. Doesn't that happen every time you wish to Fungalore? Yeah, but now yes, it'll be live. Yes, it does. Now it's it live. It always is live, but this is also live. But, it's, but this is also that. Yeah. And it's, At 6,000, we will release a bonus Starfield Monster Factory just for Max Fun members. Do you guys want to... Scuzz! Scuzz Lightyear was our first attempt <laughs> to play Starfield back before it was functional as a entertainment product. Uh, and so we did one episode with Scuzz and then we put him back in the Disney vault until I a later think, date. I think, hey, let's 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 ramp the stakes up right now. I think this is okay. Let's this is let's let's try something new, okay? Scuzz Lightyear's already been recorded, right? Yeah. If we don't hit six thousand, we delete it. We'll kill Scuzz oh, Lightyear. No. We'll delete all copies of the video. There we go. Now the stakes are there. Yeah, I like that. At 9,000, we will write and illustrate a WikiHow article on a topic chosen by our staff and we'll post it on our website. And maybe on WikiHow. I mean, if, if they, they allow, allow, we'll submit try. it. We will try. Uh, 12,000, we're going to do a six thumbs, one heart percent version of Celeste oh. on a live stream. Oh. Um, so that'll take a, probably a good 36 hours. And I, um, I still know nothing about Celeste. It's, oh, I uh, hear it's, it's challenging. It is it's, a little difficult. It okay, has some difficulties. Now at fifteen thousand, we will record and release a commentary track for Avatar, uh, not the last year, but the, the blue person one on the bonus content feed for Max Fund members. Now, here's the thing about this. Oh my God, guys! I please do this for me. Here's please the thing about do this, this for me. Uh, observant listeners may know. Griffin and I have never seen it. Still. Don't want to see it. It looks so (laughs) fucking bogus. Please, Um, I need this. And Justin has seen it uh, and loves it. And so this would be a- The first one, it's more, yeah, okay, yeah, you know. You love that you've seen it. I love that I've seen it. Yeah. And I and I hate that you guys have it. So it would be, this commentary will be mine and Griffin's first time watching it. Justin right. will have a lot of answers, uh, a lot um, of uh, answering to do when we hit 15,000. So if you guys see the counter and it's at 14,999, it, maybe just think about wait until next. Or next skip year. over. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to, um, we're going to need to figure out, it's occurring to me now, we're going to need to figure out what our setup's going to be. Because if you guys are watching it where you record this podcast, on, uh-huh. you will have, you will have watched Avatar. Right. But you won't have 
seen Avatar. You know oh, what I mean? Huge. Like, yeah. you've got... We so this is the kind way. of energy Travis and I are going to have to contend with. <laughs> Maybe we'll rent out a movie theater. Yeah. Oh, now great. we're talking. We'll um, listen, MaximumFun.org slash join is the link you can go to. Genuinely, we are doing this. We've been doing this. This is our 14th Max Fun Drive uh, because of the support that we continue to get from y'all. We've been able to s- start more shows. Taz exists because of the Max Fun Drive. Uh, we've done about a million times more video stuff in the yeah. last year than we have in all of the years uh, previous because we were able to hire a, a video editor and producer, and that is because of the Max Fun Drive. Uh, it is it is so important uh, to to us to continue to just, like grow and make cool stuff, and you are the you are the ones who make that possible. And just being completely frank, and you've probably noticed this if you read stuff, or heck, if you just listen to podcasts, um, the ad revenue side of our business has been really it's been really rough lately it's been tight uh, it's been tight it's been rough for everybody but bim bam's been... weathered the storm okay but if you yeah. listen to our other shows you will notice uh some empty spaces where the ads used to go so uh we really uh now more than ever like really do need your support and it really is if you're if you're a uh, uh somebody who makes stuff uh in this current climate you know where we are at uh it, so if you can uh support us and the people who work for us and the stuff that we make, it really does, it, it really is a huge help. So if you could do MaximumFun.org slash join. <laughs> if you are able to do it at a, a screen right now, uh, do, do it while you're thinking about it, because it really, Please. it makes this all possible. There's a, by the way, if you can do 20 bucks a month, where there's a uh, there's a bucket hat you can get. It's our Games on the Go uh, uh, kit. They're it's a bandana that adorable. turns into a, a chessboard. I mean, come on. Whoa. I mean, come on. Stop it. And listen, yeah. you have three options as far as support goes. You can become a member. You can upgrade yep. your membership. You can also yes. boost your membership, which yes. means maybe you're not ready to move up to the next level, but you can increase it by a couple bucks. Go for it. And on top of that, if you're already a member or you're not able to, just sharing links, talking about please. it, reminding people that it's Max Fun Drive, all that stuff helps. Yep. Thank I was stretching so when I said, please just there. I didn't mean to sound it so did like, seem pretty desperate in pain. Yeah. But um, maybe that energy we, works, though. Yeah, maybe, maybe someone likes that. Need. Maybe imagine me dangling off a bridge in the <laughs> arms <laughs> of a griffin. All right, far let's um, away let's stop. We this. need a, pi- a picture of a crying griffin. Some slow zooms. I've and I haven't and cried since like high school, man. Old wreckage, something like that. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, Edmund Fitzgerald. Wait, why is he there? It's the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald with Griffin oh, okay. McRae as the sad ghost captain. New question. Okay. New question. <laughs> I desperately want to be friends with my dentist. I get my teeth cleaned every six months. And every time I go, my dentist and I get into great banter. We discuss what music we're into. Proper bants. Proper, <laughs> proper bants. Uh, our similar upbringing. And we even have tattoos from some of the same artists. The problem is, every time I speak to the dentist, I'm in full teeth cleaning mode. Yeah. The bib, the silly glasses, the women. Sorry, no, no, no. You can't skip that. The wet mouth and everything. There's never an appropriate moment to ask if he wants to hang out sometime. On top of that, the dental hygienist is always present while we're talking, Uh, which makes you feel even weirder. Third (laughs) wheel. Yeah. Hey, can they uh, clear out? (laughs) Please, they're harshing the vibe. I'm clean. Uh, emailing him or calling the office both feel wrong. Brothers, how can I invite my dentist to hang out without making it awkward? That's from Dental Dude Dilemma. I could be at a cool guy make friends club. Uh Uh-huh. I could be attending the hundredth meeting of the cool guy make friends club, and I could show up (laughs) and not know how to spearhead a conversation about making a cool friend with a cool guy. Yeah. You have asked us for advice on how to do this exact situation in the most socially dynamic, imbalanced like state that yeah. two human beings can possibly occupy. You are you are both at an incredible imbalance of power and absolutely immobilized. As you, absolutely. No matter what stew you make at this point, you are gonna be sitting in it. Now this is gonna yes. surprise you guys, but I'm gonna beg to differ. Oh no, God. yeah, of course. No, and here's why. As an adult, I would make the point it is easier to find a new dentist than to make friends as an adult. That's a really, 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 really good point, Travis. <laughs> so 
here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna wait until one of those bands that you guys both like are in town. Yes. The, the, you're gonna schedule a cleaning, Ooh. and then you're gonna be like, hey, did you hear that they're coming? Wait, sorry, do you wanna go? you're gonna schedule a cleaning, sorry, real quick, quick pause. You're gonna schedule a cleaning. So you're gonna say, you're gonna call them, they're like, you just got your teeth cleaned this two weeks hey, ago. Hey Justin, like, no, 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 there's gonna be now. some machinations happening. <laughs> say, okay, yeah, I right. eat some squid ink spaghetti. And I need to get yeah. back in there. I don't know what to tell you. And yeah. you're going to be like, okay. yeah, do you want to go? You want to go? Like, I'm looking for somebody to go with. You want to go see the show? Boom. Friends. Is it that feels romantic? And I don't know why that's true to me, but it's it feels really, romantic. How, but how do you navigate this ever? <laughs> like, right? It's, it's, uh... listen, I have watched my children recently at a playground have this interaction with another child. Hey, do you want to be friends? Yeah. And what's your name? That's they don't even know. Yeah, they I don't mean, even yeah. know that we build up it all is these barriers. Much easier to be a like kid. Like the tartar like, and yeah. black plaque building up on your. What teeth. are you teaching? Like, yes, I miss being a child too. It was much easier. Yeah, I wish I'd appreciated it. So more. just ask Thank your dentist. You, yes. Just be like when they're done, be like, hey, feels great in there now, man. You want to be friends? That's insane. That's, not, that's, that's what insane. you said is so wrong, Travis. Travis, it doesn't you make guys, sense. What you're oh, saying. your hearts are so hard. It's like I, one like time I saw a around your heart is so hard. Oh, I'm going to give so, you a love root canal. Yeah. I love, I, listen, if someone said to me, Do you want to be friends? And I would instinctively say to them, What could that possibly mean? Because I don't know what you. that, I don't know what you, what changes. You know what I mean? Like what, yeah. what has shifted? Are, is there you an just, No, it, now you know. This you is do you played, like me? No, yes or no? Yes. Here's no, here's what's happened, Travis. You've played too many video games. Yes. And you are you're like, hey, we've built up a lot of relationship points. Yeah. Do you want to level our status yeah. from acquaintances to friends? Yeah. The problem is that it that rarely in video games stops there. And a lot of the time <laughs> you'll be like, I got you a new broadsword. And they'll be like, get that dick out. <laughs> Here's all I'm saying. If this I got dentist, you tickets to the Weezer concert. Look Let's at this, boys. Em. This isn't as big a risk as you think it is. Let me tell you why. This dentist is in your mouth. One of the top five worst orifices on your body, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and they are choosing to continue a conversation with you, not about general service level stuff, but the tattoo artists that you share, the bands yeah. that you both like, your similar upbringing. This dentist also likes talking to you. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. right. Of course, you're you're right. right. Then what? Travis, tell me and me and Justin are like little kids curled up at the foot of your rocking chair in front of the fireplace. Tell us how to make friends. You need to to revert back to like middle school asking someone out. A group of friends are getting together. We're going bowling tonight. You want to go? Or like something like that. That's cool. That's cool. I have so many. That's cool. I'll tell you why that's cool. I have come to this concert with me and my friends. That's right. I've already got so many fucking friends. Yeah. So like, I don't need this. I don't need you, but I want to include I'm you. I'm welcoming in it. you in. I'm welcoming Travis, you, Travis. If you were gonna, ha- if you were capable of coming up with a good idea like that, why did you say the bad idea earlier? You make it so hard I, to trust you. I, because Justin, there needs to be dips. Sometimes it's in true. Trav Nation, oh, we're starting to get a little restless. I'm gonna throw a tournament, and now everyone's <laughs> excited and happy again. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's it, but I think you have to see it's important for us to swat down the stinkers. Yeah. That is, it's because you don't get to the gold if we're not swatting oh, down blame, stinkers. Brainstorming, blue sky, baby. Yeah. This is how true. we make friends. This is how hey, we cook. You guys, um, can you guys just talk for a second? Oh, boy. Dun, 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 dun. How? <laughs> Dun, dun, All right. Dun, 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 Welcome to Munch Squad, the podcast within the podcast, profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. I love that you waited so long to turn your camera on because for a while I was like, "What is that? Who is this? What's well, going I on?" I couldn't the, figure were... it out. You couldn't I, figure it out. They, I was uh, having trouble figuring out the buttons to press. Well, there's hey, there's you know like about... a there's a million buttons in here. One of them dumps worms on you. The other one that's true. Um, I would love that. Kill someone, and <laughs> the rest of them me. don't do anything. 
drive me absolutely bananas. Worms? Um, do you know <laughs> about crypto, Dracula? The I mean, Count Donut, do you know about crypto? <laughs> what? Do you know is about this, crypto? It's like boomer jewels. Yeah, oh shit. Sorry, okay, like never mind. He knows. Jewels. I wanted to tell you about um, some donut extreme happenings from Krispy Kreme. Uh, it's St. Patrick's Day. Do you know yeah. him? I killed him, actually. No, actually. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I know. A lot of people are surprised by this. When Did I you turn him? him? Sorry. Did you turn, turn him? Turn, turn him dead, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Turned him from alive to not <laughs> alive anymore. How do you decide, Count Donna? I've always wanted... I, I can't believe I've ever asked you this because I've always wanted to ask a vampire. How do you decide which victims to kill and which ones to turn? Yeah. Well... If you're like me, you make a lot of mistakes. You turn oh. people that you think at first are fun or yeah. maybe what you, you are lacking. So you're kind of a homebody and you turn yeah. someone who loves to go out and party. And at first you're like, maybe this is me. Yeah. And yeah. then you realize, of course, you miss being at home. And this right, person, they love, they love to go out. And so you stick them through the heart. Oh, man. Is it tough? Is it tough to make a mistake? But this is a little extra life for them. They would not have otherwise received, I'm sure. That's They're true. Excited. Extension. It's a Huge. no lose. It's a bonus. Look at these donuts. Yeah. That's beautiful. There's a lot of, cream. lot of shit on them. Yeah. Yes. These are the sham. The, the St. Patrick's Day collection is sure to make fans feel like they've hit the jackpot, including the luck of the rainbow donut. An original glazed donut dipped in green icing, rainbow explosion sprinkle blend, and topped with a buttercream cloud. I have noticed a pattern yeah. where when donut companies are like, here's a set of like specially themed donuts, you can tell a design decrease in focus where they're like, this one, this is the rainbow. This is the cloud. And it's like, oh, this one kind of swirling and sprinkling. This is one of the thing. This one, there's some lines on it. We'll put some green lines. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Hey, hey. Well, I needed to, to have four for the yeah, meeting. There has to be one that an adult feels comfortable taking. Okay, that's yeah. You need a, bore, a boring restrained donut that says, yes, I am hungry, but I'm not the child. Yeah. There's a shamrock cookies and cream made with Oreo cookies and un they it's so appetizing. Listen. An unglazed shell filled with cookies and cream filling and made with Oreo cookies, then dipped in white yeah. icing and green drizzles and Saint Patrick's fusion sprinkles. Oh <laughs> sure. it's also just occurred to me. Why is cookies and cream always Oreo cookies and cream? It's never a different kind because of cookie. Because cookies yeah. and cream you... is the off. This okay. I realized this. I was three hundred and seventeen days years old before. Wait, I hold on. Wait, you were under one year old? No, three hundred and seventeen days and years. Both. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. So it was almost three eighteen. I realized that cookies and cream, the flavor. It's just the off-brand way of saying Oreo. Oh, yeah, you're right, because it's the cookie right? and the cream in the middle. Right. Yeah, you're just it, that's why it's always because if you can afford Oreo, go go nuts. But go you, I it. mean, you yeah. who who advertises? And I count on it. When did when did you realize what "not if I see you first means? Sorry, not if I see you first is like if I see you, I'm gonna hide. And then they won't see you. When did you realize what that means? I was Travis about is on his own shit right now. I was about to I do a funny you. thing about Hydrox cookies, and you absolutely derailed. I would uh, still love to hear that us? joke, Count Donut. Thank you. Uh, which Griffin? Yeah, that's right. Yes. Luck is meant to. Oh, sorry. This is Dave Scanner speaking. Oh, yeah. Luck is meant to be shared, and our colorful, fun, all-new St. Patrick's Day donuts will make everyone feel like they've found a pot of gold, says Dave Scanlon, Global Chief Brand Officer for Krispy Kreme. What did he say they were? Cool, fun, cool, new? They're colorful. Fun, colorful, cool, fun, new, new donuts? Sexy. Sexy. Fucking Dave Scanlon really knows how to unpack his adjectives, and They're I appreciate all new that. donuts. This is, can I say this? All new. There's four. 
Why put so much pressure on ourselves? Yeah. We don't have to invent new donuts. There are many great ones. There, yeah, there are also new designs. Sure, Dave, but just it's looking the at them, they're donuts. Now, I actually have another um, story from Krispy Kreme and involved Dave Scanner, but this one, I, you have to understand, I, I don't get a bunch of news of your country uh, just unless it's related to donuts. So okay. I came across this. Where one. do you live? Do you live in Transylvania, or is that like a tribe nation? No, I oh. would rather not dox. Yeah. Oh, I see. Too yeah. many. Sorry about that. Steak, ha- steak happy adventure jockeys start poking <laughs> yeah. around. You know? Sure, man. So listen, Krispy Kreme celebrates democracy. With oh two free original glazed donuts for all guests on Super Tuesday, March 5th. Uh huh. Americans who elect to visit any Krispy Kreme <laughs> shop throughout the United States on March 5th, Super Tuesday, yeah. can receive two free glazed donuts, no purchase necessary. I While mean- encouraging everyone to vote, our primary role on Super Tuesday will be to sweeten your day. Says Dave Skinner. Hey, how is it going over there for you guys? <laughs> it is seeming less than good. It's been better. It's been better. Yeah, for sure. Krispy Kreme Super Tuesday offer is available nationwide, not just in states conducting primary elections. So you're Show telling how- me on Super Tuesday... Krispy Kreme Donuts was giving away two donuts. Two, for, two, no purchase necessary. Anybody who came in, did they the next day be like, what the fuck were we thinking? Are, what happened? We were, were so fucked up, guys. So many donuts. They were really excited about people voting, but not so much that they would make them vote to get the donuts. You get the donuts regardless. Okay. But Wild. it seems, yeah, I don't know what they. It seems like they. Oops, they made too many. A they forgot bit. what step two was gonna be. Step yes. one: yeah. people come in and get free donuts. Okay, now that we've got, oh, they're leaving. Fuck. Oh, I see the rest of the quote from Dave Skinner. It says, "Please, God, buy something else while you're here. We'll Please be ruined. take some napkins, even just anything. For the love of God. Anyway, I hope you two did your part to celebrate democracy. It says here." Yeah, I mean, I live Domocracy. in D.C., so really, I celebrate democracy every time. Can you imagine? And then they said, show how you're celebrating democracy and Super Tuesday with Krispy Kreme by using hashtag Krispy Kreme and tagging. Can you imagine seeing a dear friend, acquaintance, or family member who posts on their gram a picture of them enjoying two un- <laughs> Unglazed free donuts while well, they say, Don't forget to vote or do, but come get free donuts. Yeah. Hashtag Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I would um, send help. I would send the, the Saint Bernard with the barrel of stuff around yeah. the neck to them. <laughs> I would help them. How much, something. how many instances of election interference do you think Krispy Kreme is going to be responsible for when they're like, I tried to vote? I tried to vote, but my fingers were too sticky. Mm. It slipped on the That's screen. That's why it's unglazed. I, mm. I went with Marianne Williamson because of the glaze. Come and I think hand. that this was Krispy Kreme's playing the whole time. I hate when I leave the pictures up too long because it makes me so hungry. Hey, and yeah. there Count is Donut. not the Krispy Kreme for so far. Count Donut, can I ask you a question? Mm. Turn what? Mary Kill, me, Griffin, and Dave Skinner. I would rather put my head into a gigantic garbage disposal and slapped the button until the whispers became screams, became quiet. Then do this game with you right so, now. Turn Mary yeah. Kill. I don't want, I also don't want to play this game. I will Travis. cease the call. I'm looking at the counter. You have enough podcast to not get fired. I will just leave. So just <laughs> if you had, the, but if you had to say, do you, know who pay, do you do know who pays my airfare to get over here to do this? Is it Dave Scanner? It's the Max Fun Drive. Oh, I really oh, appreciate. Oh, awesome. Yes, I wanted to say, please keep it coming. Um, I really appreciate being able to come over here and kill different kinds of people yeah. that I don't get to at home. So thank yeah. you for your donations. When them. you're 
When you're on the airplane, do you ever see Isaac the Child Chocolatier I, or the Riddle Master? Or? I don't. I'm not on the airplane. You, <laughs> this is but you just said they pay your airfare. I say, yes, I have to ship the coffin. Have you? I, what's wrong with you? I have to ship the coffin. I buy a ticket for the coffin. I put the coffin in the seat. Are I you fly, in the coffin? Bad. No, I'm not in the coffin. That would be exhausting. No, I'm I'm a bat. I fly along next so to the wait, coffin. So wait, flying as a bat wait, in the seat of a plane less is less exhausting? exhausting? <laughs> oh, absolutely. If you're in the coffin, I'll be honest with you. If I'm not super sleepy, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I if I'm like that. super tired and yeah. I want to get in and rest, that's do good. The, but whatever air. Do the do the like people who work for whatever airline you fly get annoyed Spirit. at all of the <laughs> you makes Spirit of sense. Airlines? Makes a lot of sense, Spirit Airlines Spirit the Airlines Macro reliably moves crates ship. of dirt from your castle <laughs> to wherever it is that you're going to to Huntington, right. I guess. Yes, but they're going to charge you seventy four dollars to do it. That's a pretty good it's deal. It's also with a bunch spookiest. of crates of dirt. It's the spookiest name of an airline too. I think That's so. true, Ex except for Alaska. <laughs> That is the only one that scares me more. Yeah. All right. Good stuff so far. Thank you. Uh, Count Donut, it's uh, good to see you. Thank you. It was good to be. Talk about the Max Fun Drive? It feels wrong. It does. I have to go. Goodbye, Count Donut. I miss you. Oh, shit. Oh, oh he fuck. died again. He died. Yeah. Oh, but his body is flailing around unbuckling the cape. Oh, flipped off oh, again. Flip finger. There it is. <laughs> just, the good uh, stuff. just to keep a counter going. Oh, oh it's stuck. <laughs> the cave is stuck. stuck oh, the cave is stuck. Justin's going to need oh, special no, surgery to get his cape off. Oh, no, the third flip off Oh, fuck. Oh, ow. They're I feel like he's hurt. Justin needs money for <laughs> cape surgery. Please. please. Go to Maximum Fun. Please, you should be ready. Can't breathe. The Velcro came off, so I had to cut a hole before I did this. Yeah? And now this, this this bootleg hole I made has become irrevocably entwined. Oh, oh no. no. Breathe, uh, you did it. He's free. Uh, uh, A real baby Jessica oh. situation. Yeah. Hi, Justin. Hey. Uh, Count Donut was here. No shit. Yeah, he was here. He did his stuff. It was great. Amazing. Amazing. Um, I'll tell you what uh, makes that visit possible. This is funny. We actually pay his airfare uh, well, over over here. Technically, that's true, Justin, but get this. <laughs> he just puts a box of dirt with a coffin in it in a seat instead of putting it in the luggage area and sitting in the seat himself. What's his favorite airline to fly? Get is, this. Did he Spirit. mention Spirit. Spirit. Oh, okay. It's, a, it's also the scariest. It's the scariest. Yeah, one. scariest name. Yeah. Except for... Alaska. <laughs> yeah, it's so wild, too. So you guys are so like in sync. It's like weird. you guys are really Is that why like, it works? Because you guys are in the drift? Yeah, we were we sync to each other. We, it, and I am ready for hungry for murdering now. It will Whoa, pass. Crazy. It will pass. Yeah. Yeah. But right now I would love to get a little killing done. Can I tell you if you if you need to transport a body that's been draculized, you could do no better than the maximum bag. What's that? Well, at if you decide to support us at thirty five bu uh, bucks a month here at the Max Fun Drive, you get all the stuff we've talked about before: the games on the go or the bucket hat, one of forty enamel pins. You get a membership card. You get a million billion hours of bonus content, and then you get a tote bag, y'all. That is. So fucking big. It is 27 by 35 big. inches. Irresponsibly big. It's so outrageously big. It's big enough to fit all the bonus content in it. And Whoa. that's saying something. It's saying something. Even if we um, put it on cassettes, I think yeah. you could carry it all. Listen, no matter what level, if you are able to support us, it genuinely not only means the world to us, but it makes this very, very much possible. Just even at five bucks a month, you get all kinds of bonus content from every show throughout the history of time and space. You can hear the episode where we read it, episode 400, uh, on the blue carpet premiere of Escape to Margaritaville, except we switched each other's brothers who read which stuff, and also Matt Doyle was there and read every other celebrity who was there. Outrageous. I, I, I just want to say, too, um, when we talk about like supporting us through the Max Fun Drive, I want to make it clear that that support doesn't just support like my brother, my brother, me, Adventure Zone, Shanner, Sawbones, Wonderful, uh, still buffering and shows like that. It also allows us candidates. What that we choose? It goes to political candidates. No, 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 no. We can find. No, 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 no. Wait, no. No, the rest of it is if you like stuff like Monster Factory, if you like stuff uh, like the Six Thumbs One Heart, 
if you we've just premiered and this is super secret, you can watch the real episode tomorrow, uh, McRoy Family Clubhouse, uh, on our YouTube channel. If you like, um, the uh, Candle Nights, we're able to like do all that stuff because of support through Max Fun. It it makes this our like primary jobs, like working on the graphic novels. Like we got paid to do that, but it's a lot of work and a lot of time that we might not have if we had to you know have jobs not in this field outside of it right yeah and it makes your support makes it so we could just spend all our time making you happy and it is a beautiful it's a beautiful gift that you have yes. given us then we really really appreciate um if you haven't donated before maybe just try it you know five bucks a month maximumfund.org forward slash join you go over there type 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 click 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 like the shows you like and see how it feels because I bet it's going to feel pretty good. And if you don't want to do like a recurring thing, you can pay a year up front. Also, if that if you're more comfortable with that, that I mean, that is, would be more appealing to me. Uh, then you can also do that uh, at that same link, maximumfund.org slash join. Um, there's 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 a lot of ways that you can that you can help out. And we really, really uh, I mean, we need it and we appreciate it and we appreciate you. And yeah, keep us on the air, please. Keep us. And the last thing I'll say heart. is, don't let them shut us down. We do Max Fun Drive for ten days. You can become a member anytime, but this is the sure. time where you know we're going to be talking about it the most. Uh, we're able to say thank you directly, um, and um, it's the time where you're going to get those rewards from the different tier levels that only happen yes. during this ten day period. So if you're like, oh, you know what, I've been meaning to do that. I've been thinking about it. Do it now while you're thinking about it. Don't let it uh, drain out of your head and then you forget and you miss your chance to get And it's also a stuff. lot scarier if everybody waits. So if you would just go ahead and do it, that would be <laughs> yeah, really that's nice. A good point. Would, that would honestly, please, <laughs> if you would just go do it right now, that would be really nice. That'd that would so feel huge. really good. Um, um, thank hey, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you to Montaigne for the mm. Fred theme song, My Life is Better with You. Um, it's a club blank, a cub, a cub blanger. It's a cub blanger. It blangs cubs, uh, nonstop. We're not going to bore you with a bunch of other shit here at the end. Um, I do want to say thank you though to like our editor Rachel, yes, and like Sarah and Amanda, people who help us make all this show, all of this stuff. Uh, because you're not just supporting us, you're supporting all the people who also support us to help us make these things, make them better, make them more often. Um, all of that stuff, like there is a team of people that yes. you are able to help support as well. We um, pay Fungalore. Yes. Exorbitant. Exorbitantly. Yeah. So too much. much. It's not cool. Not cool Fungalore. But you do, I mean, he gets results. Should we send up a wish? Yeah. Oh, let's yeah. Po we'll pop one out. Okay. Um, I'll do this one if okay. you like. Um. I wish flossing wasn't so boring. My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me. Kiss your dad. Square the lips. Maximum Fun, a worker-owned network of artist-owned shows, supported directly by you.